so exciting and I can't believe I didn't show it to you guys. Okay, Tiffany, how is this Harry Potter? It's just a black mug. Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 Harry Potter items that I haven't shown you before. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> So I've got 10 items to show you guys. I've got items from Walmart, Amazon, Ulta, Etsy, and even Universal Studios in Orlando. So let's go ahead and get started with item number one. So for item number one, I've got this Gryffindor eyeshadow palette. This is from Ulta, and it's in this really gorgeous maroon color with this pretty gold foiling that outlines a lion for Gryffindor, of course. And then inside, you are going to see the traits for Gryffindor, determination, bravery, and courage. And then below that, you are going to see all the eyeshadow colors. And there is one that is apparently my favorite. And I use this one a lot to highlight my brow bone. And then I use it as a base color as well. And then I would say I use this one the second most. I use it as a transition shade. And I'm often using this brown color. I put it at the bottom of my eyelash line, kind of as a eyeliner, but I just put the eyeshadow there with like a fine tip eyeshadow brush. But I really enjoy these colors. I'll even use this one that's called Passion. That's this really pretty gold shimmery color sometimes on the base of my eyelid. And then I often use these two red colors and sometimes the pink. I've never used Coco or Howler. There are these two darker shades. I'm a little intimidated to do like a smoky eye or something like that, so I kind of stick to the other ones, but I do really love this palette and it is from Ulta Beauty. Speaking Ulta Beauty, I also have these brushes that I got from there as well, and they're a Deathly Hallows theme. This one I use for my bronzer pretty often, and this one is the Deathly Hallows, it says here, and then we've got this little small brow brush that's called the wand. We have one more eyeshadow brush that's called the stone. And then last but not least is the cloak. And that would be the one that I use for blush. And they all have this really pretty like smoky effect at the bottom of each of these makeup brushes. So I love these and this eyeshadow palette. And this eyeshadow palette retails for $16. I think that's a good value for an eyeshadow palette that has nine eyeshadow shades. So that's going to be for item number one. I kind of snuck an extra bonus item in there as well. So the next three items I think are all from Hot Topic. Yes, they are from Hot Topic. So for item number two, we have this beautiful Great Haul skirt. I love this. It has all those floating candlesticks at the top. I would never think that a skirt that's off the theme of the Great Hall would be cute, but how they put this together, this design, it is adorable. And if you're not like a huge Harry Potter fan, you would just think that the skirt's pretty cute. And at the bottom, it has even more detail. Let me see if I can show you. So it has even the house points here, and you can see that it looks like Gryffindor's in the lead with Slytherin right behind them, and then I think it's Hufflepuff, then Ravenclaw. So that's pretty cool that they have that down here. And then they have where all the teachers sit and eat. And then they even have the stand that Dumbledore stands at whenever he makes his announcements. I think that this skirt is so adorable. It zips up in the back here, and it is so cute. Of course, if I can still find it at Hot Topic, sometimes things sell out and they don't bring it back. Sometimes they do but I'll hopefully be able to find it or something similar. Item number three is going to be this sweater dress. And yes, it's a dress. Look how nice and long it is. And it has a Gryffindor patch right here. Let me show you. So this is the giant G that says Gryffindor down the side. And you'll see that this sweater dress is in this really nice knitted material. It's very cozy. And it's entirely in Gryffindor colors, scarlet and gold. So it's got a couple gold little accents throughout it. And I think it's just so adorable. And it's pretty simple because it's, it's basically mostly that scarlet color throughout. And it's a V neck at the top. And mine is in the size medium, and I think it fits me pretty well. It's a little loose, but for sweater dresses, I'd rather them be loose, not skin tight. So that I would definitely prefer a medium in this, and I just adore this dress. It's so cute. Right, for item number four, I've got these Deathly Hollow tights. They are so cute. I still haven't been able to wear them yet, 
and I really adore these. I want to wear them to the parks, but anytime I go, I forget about them and I don't bring them with me, but I think that these would be so cute with like a skirt like this one and these tights underneath. I think that would be so adorable. And if you can see that here, it has the Deathly Hollows emblem here at the top. And I think these tights are adorable. These retail for $14.90. And I can't wait to wear these. <laughs> All right, my next item is so exciting. And I can't believe I didn't show it to you guys when I did my Wizarding World at Universal Hall. But it is these Mina Lima prints for their Wanted posters. So there's a bunch of them in here. There's actually five replicas. So they have Greyback, they've got Sirius, they've got this public notice one about Death Eaters, and then we have Harry's Undesirable number one poster, and then last but not least is Miss Bellatrix the Strangest Wanted poster. I think these are so cool. So let me go ahead and take them out of the tube so you can see how cool and authentic these look. And on the top here, it has the Wizarding World of Harry Potter little stamp for Universal Studios because that is where I got it. Right, so let's go ahead and pop that off. So it just has them all in there spiraled up. I'm going to take them out. I haven't taken these out in so long. I bought these like years ago, no joke. I don't even know if they still have them over at Universal or not because their prints sometimes they carry for a little bit. They don't always have them. These were pretty expensive as well. I don't see the price on here, but I do love them. And I know I've been talking about putting something over here in this wall. And this is definitely something I should be putting up there and getting use out of them. And the reason why I don't have them up and I kind of forgot about them is because when I used to live in a condo before I bought my house, I bought them and I didn't want to hang them up there and I wanted to hang them up when I got a house but I just completely forgot. So let's see what they look like. Oh my gosh there's so many and they're so cool. Let's start with one at a time. Let me just take one out carefully. I don't want to rip or bend or crease any of them. All right so this one is the public notice one to beware for people calling themselves Death Eaters, and it's so long. There's no way I can show this to you in the entire frame, so you'll just kind of have to bear with me. But these are so nice. They're on this really good quality paper. So this says, Ministry of Magic Public Notice. The wizarding community is currently under threat from an organization calling itself the Death Eaters. Beware. Observing the following simple security guidelines will help protect you your family, and your home from an attack. So then they have guidelines one through seven. So I'll share the first one with you. Number one, you are advised not to leave your house alone. And then it's got six more of those down here below. And then at the very bottom, it says there's a reward. The reward is the Ministry of Magic is offering rewards of a thousand galleons for information leading directly to the arrest of any Death Eater. But I think these are so cool, so that's the first one. The next one is the Harry Potter one. One thing that would be so cool, I know muggles, we can't have it, but if this picture moved and you like really see it, like you see it in the Wizarding World in Harry Potter, like I think that is so cool. But for this one, it just says, contact the Ministry of Magic immediately if you have any information concerning his whereabouts. Failing to report will result in imprisonment. So that's crazy. And the reward for this one is 10,000 galleons. So he's worth more than Death Eater. Next one is one of my favorites. It's Have You Seen This Wizard? And it is Sirius Black with his prison number from Azkaban. It says, approach with extreme caution. Do not attempt to use magic against this man. And it doesn't tell you how many galleons you would get if you turn this one in. But this one is so cool. The print is so gorgeous, very clear. And I just love it. We've got two more. This next one is Bellatrix Lestrange. Hers is humongous. So you've got a couple different angles of her, just like a prison mugshot would be. And for Bellatrix Lestrange, the reward is a thousand galleons. That is just crazy that Harry's is 10. Like she's obviously way more dangerous than he ever was. And last but not least is Finier Greyback. So for him as well, it's only a thousand galleons for his reward money. And they all say approach with extreme caution because they are clearly dangerous. All right, so I have them all raveled up. We'll put them right back where they belong. 
so I don't get them ruined. <laughs> and one more thing I want to note is that these are Mina Lima prints, so you might be able to even find them on their website as well if you can't find them at Universal Studios anymore. I just love these replica posters. They're so cool and at least one of them is going to make it to that wall for sure. I want to hear from you guys because I want to put at least one of them on this wall. So which one of these five posters is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. All right, we're on item number six. For item number six, we have our last apparel item that I want to show you. And it is this jean jacket and it has this gorgeous embroidery on the back of the Hogwarts crest. All right, let me show you it up closer. So this is the beautiful design and it's all completely stitched in. I just love this jean jacket. I'm not really sure where they sell this jean jacket. I actually found this one off of Poshmark. So if you ever wanna find some really cool, unique Harry Potter finds, check out Poshmark. And I think I only paid like 20 or $30 for this jean jacket, which is crazy. I think it's so nice. I did end up getting it in a size large, if you can see that here but I like the oversized look sometimes and it is such a nice quality jacket. It also has these really cute details in the buttons. It's got the Harry Potter logo here. It even has this little Harry Potter tag on the side and I thought that this was such a great find and I love this jacket so much. So check out Poshmark sometimes, you might find a really cool item. All right, for item number seven, we've got a Queenie figurine. So one of my friends actually found this for me and she found it on clearance for so cheap, only $3.97. So she picked this up and I think it's such a good find. I don't remember exactly where she said she found it. It says power up members get two times points. So wherever you can get power up member points, that's where she got it. Maybe it was books a million, I'm not 100% sure, but they have other figurines as well. So these are some of the other figurines you can get. And it is so cute. She's on a little stand in there. I haven't taken her out of her box just because I don't wanna lose her. I'm not quite sure where I wanna put her. I would love to have like a Fantastic Beast themed shelf. And that's when I wanna put her up. So maybe one of these days I'll have two shelves back there. I'll probably shuffle some things over, move that plant and have two shelves. But I'm not sure if that'll be anytime soon, but in the future I would love to have that and I will display her then, but for now I'm gonna keep her in the box so I don't lose her. All right, for my next item I have this mug, and you might be looking at this mug and be like, okay, Tiffany, how is this Harry Potter? It's just a black mug, but this mug is magical because once you pour some hot water in here, it is going to reveal the artwork. So let me go ahead and get some hot water so I can show you what the design is few moments later okay so i'm back with some hot water i put a mint on because i don't want to burn myself <laughs> all right so we're going to pour this in and see what the image reveals <gasps> that is so cool it's happening so fast i love this it's so cute and it's different on the back. So cute. The <laughs> water is about filled to there, so it's not going to reveal. It's only gonna reveal where the heat touches, it looks like. But it's kind of pushing it towards the bottom because it's probably kind of heating up the bottom now. That is so cute. So here is the design now that most of it has revealed itself. So it says mischief managed on one side and then I solemnly swear I'm up to no good on the other. So this is a Marauder's Map themed mug, but isn't this mug so much fun? It's so cool. I love mugs that are heat activated like this. I have a couple other ones as well that I've got from like subscription boxes, but this one you can get over on Amazon. All right, so we only have two more items left. The next item is a set and it's a blanket and pillow set. You can find this at Walmart and it's so cute. It has the Hogwarts crest and then it's a Hogwarts theme blanket because it has each house represented in their colors on this blanket in stripes. And then for the blanket on the very bottom, it says Hogwarts. It has the name just printed on here, but everywhere else, it's just this really cute printed design. It is in a nice soft fleece material. I love this blanket. I love blankets in general. I mean, I can't go wrong. So a Harry Potter blanket is gonna be one of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, so we're on item number 10. 
<laughs> so for item number 10, it is something that I got off of Etsy. And it is so big that I can't show you while I'm sitting down at my desk. So let me go ahead and get up so I can show you it. Okay, so I am standing up now and this is sitting on my desk chair. All right, this is so large. So let me see if I can back up and get it in the entire frame. Okay, so this is the artwork. It's a quote from Elvis Dumbledore. You'll see his name there on the bottom. And it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. I just absolutely adore that quote. It came exactly how it is with the frame and all. The entire thing is made out of wood. This is the back side of it. And then it also comes with this little piece so you can hang it up on your wall. On the back here, it has the Hudson stamp custom wood wall art logo on the back here. So that's the Etsy shop that did this artwork for me. I think that the quality is so good and so amazing. And you can pick out all of these colors yourself. So maybe this like dark stain color on the frame doesn't work for you. They also had other colors as well. I think that wall art is just so amazing. I can't believe it took me so long to show you guys it. I've had it for quite a long time now. It actually hangs up in my room. I have it above my dresser area. So right when I wake up, like it's facing my bed. So like if I were to get up and look straight ahead of me, there is my dresser and then there's the wall art on top. And I think it's so nice to wake up to and I just love it so much. So that is the final item. All right, so that concludes today's Harry Potter haul of all the items I haven't shown you yet. Do you have a favorite item from one of the items that I showed you in this video? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!